For this video, we'll be taking a look at how you can create templates for use with Conga Sign for Web. To begin, I am in the document management app of my Conga Advantage platform. And once in my document management app, I have navigated to Conga Sign settings by clicking the option on the left hand side of the screen. Once I'm under the Conga Sign settings page, I'll want to navigate to the templates option on the left hand side. From here, I'm presented with a list of all the different templates that have been created for my org, and I also have the option to create a new template. In this case, I'm going to want to go ahead and click Create a New Template, and I will be creating a standard MSA. Once I've given it a name, I can go ahead and save, and then I'll be taken to the page where I can begin to build up my template. The first thing I'll want to do is add a document. So in this case, I will go ahead and click the MSA that I have created for this template. And then I can scroll down and see the other options that are available during template creation. So under recipients, I know that I'm going to have two different signers that will be participating in this MSA, both the external signer as well as the internal signer. And then if I continue to scroll down, I can see the additional settings that I can set up for this template. This includes things like setting the language, if I'd like to review before completion, as well as email reminders and expiration dates. Once everything has been set up with the different settings that I would like, I can go ahead and put tags on my template. So by clicking next, it will take me into the documents themselves. And then I can navigate to the signing page. Once on the signing page, I can select the signer that I would like to add tags for and drag them straight onto the page. So in this case, I'm going to add the signing block as well as the signer name, signer title, and signing date. And once I have these on the page, I can also align them by shift clicking all of the different tags and deciding which side I would like to align them on. In this case, it'll be the left. And then I can go ahead and do the same thing for signer two. Once I've configured my tags to my page in a way that I'm satisfied with, that's it. I have now created a template that's available for use when sending signed transactions out for signature. In summary, this has been a review of how you can create templates for use with Conga Sign for Web. I hope that this has been helpful and that you have a great day. Thanks.